again, Mr. Thatcher. Do you feel any better now? Yes. This neighborhood may stink of dog shit and reek of piss, but to me it smells like the purest mountain air. Do you want to talk about why you have this fear of being enclosed, Mr. Thatcher? No, I really don't. An irrational fear like yours is usually rooted in a specific event. Perhaps it would help to talk about it. Well, Doctor, take a guess then, if you're so interested in my case. When I rescued you, you expressed joy at seeing the sky again. So I'm inclined to believe you were trapped or buried somehow. Maybe during a shelling. Jeez, you're good, Doc. You're really good. Go on, please. Tell me more about it. Newton and I were trapped in a circulation tunnel after an artillery attack. We were buried alive for several days without ever knowing if we'd be found. Oswald, tell me about what happened when you were buried in that tunnel with Newton. It was more than dark. It was black as pitch. Hours seemed like days, and days like months. Oh, the terror, the shameful thoughts. Lord have mercy. What you endured was terrifying. It would have completely destroyed weaker men. It did not destroy Newton. Shameful thoughts. Tell me about them. At some point, I don't remember which day, when I thought we'd never be rescued, that this would be our end, I thought, I thought about, I thought about... <laughs> say it, Mr. Thatcher. If you ever want to heal, you have to say it. Yeah, I thought about what I could do to survive, just for a few more days. I thought about killing Newton. Killing and eating him. The man I fucking love. Tell me about your true feelings for Newton. I love him. I'm not ashamed to say it. He's the best thing that ever happened to me. I can't imagine life without him. Why should you be ashamed? I'm not, I said. But Newton sees it differently. I admire your honesty. It takes courage to stand up to society. The world needs people like you to create change. Courage is what we needed in the trenches, looking death in the face every day. I speak plain. I speak my mind. Have you always been this straightforward? All I know is, before you saved me by the sewer, my only regret was I wouldn't be able to hold or kiss Newton again. I love him, that's all. Mr. Thatcher, do you have a job? No. Since I came back from the war, I spent most of my time and energy just trying to forget. I understand what you mean. I was a soldier too. No. Nobody can truly understand what I've gone through. Why were you locked in that sewer? What happened? I went by the canal after an argument with a friend. Got chased by these fucking wankers and had to barricade myself in, despite my claustrophobia. Tell me about your claustrophobia. Has anyone given you an official diagnosis? That's what the bloody doctor said. But I don't want to go to a hospital to get checked again. I'll deal with it my own way. Why did you run? What was the reason for your argument? Newton wanted me to go to a hospital. But I can't stand being closed in. It makes me feel like I'm suffocating. Do you need medical attention? Don't get me wrong, sir. I'm grateful for what you've done, but I've never felt comfortable with doctors. I'm certain you have your reasons, but let me assure you, I'm not like other doctors you may have consulted with. Uh, it is true. You risked your life to save me, after all. It would be impolite to refuse your counsel. Oswald, why did you not go to the Pembroke Hospital to seek medical help? I don't trust doctors. All they care about was their careers and processes. I won't be locked in any room again by anyone. <laughs>
Your fear of being trapped is not going to go away by itself. You need professional help. I've seen enough butchers in white coats to last a lifetime. Hospitals reek of chemicals and death. What I need is fresh air. Why were you locked in that sewer? I went... Goodbye, Mr. Thatcher. Try to take care of yourself. Good evening, sir. I am Dr. Jonathan Reed of the Pembroke Hospital. May I be of assistance? Dr. Reed. So it's you who saved my friend Oswald. It's a pleasure to meet you, sir. And you are? Newton Blight. Oswald and I recently returned from the war. Why do you stay here now that Mr. Thatcher's back? It's complicated. Since the war, Oswald's been really nervous with the idea of entering any hospital. And me, I've got my own issues. Can you speak about them? Rats, sir. Even seeing one, they turn me. Just want to run. It's that fear that stopped me from going after Oswald when he left. What can you tell me about the war, Mr. Blight? If you want to speak about it, of course. War was... Well, you know, sir. The stench of death everywhere. Your mates lying bleeding in the mud. Just praying to make it through and get home. Bloody nightmare. Did you know Oswald Thatcher before the war? No. We met in the battlefield. I think we were in the same boat to France. We've stuck together ever since. I fought in France, too. I served as a field surgeon, but it was not uncommon to repel an assault, especially at night. Yeah. The first time I was wounded, I had to protect the infirmary from hostiles. Twice. What caused your phobia of rats, Newton? It happened last year following an artillery attack. I was trapped for two days in a hole under two dead soldiers. And there were rats. Go on. They started eating me as soon as I dozed. Gnawing at my ears, my fingers, lips. I couldn't move. I couldn't call for help. I see. No, you don't. You have no idea what it is to wake up buried under bodies. Fucking vermin eating your flesh. Oswald, he found me and saved me. You and Oswald were buried alive during the war. Tell me about it. Yeah. It was last summer. A shell hit our trench and we were buried for a week. How did you survive for a week? Luckily for us, there were rations and water in the tunnel. It was an outpost, see? Since then, Oswald's not keen on being inside for too long. Oswald seemed far more traumatized than you by the event. It wasn't the first time it happened to me. Surviving it again gave me strength. You believe that? How do you feel about Oswald Thatcher? You are more than friends, aren't you? I, I love him. I love Oswald. We knew we wouldn't survive the war without each other. But I am terrified, Doctor. What frightens you so much? What if people find out? Oswald says I'm ashamed, but it ain't that. It's more, well... You know... I never thought I'd love a man. Enjoy your love. And enjoy life as long as you can, Mr. Blight. Don't let anyone tell you who you should love, or how you should love them. I appreciate your kind words, sir. But it ain't that easy. It's all so new to me. You are always welcome at the Pembroke Hospital. 
As a former officer, I'll be honored to welcome a fellow veteran. I'm not giving up on bringing Oswald back to the hospital. I just need to convince him that he needs some help. Perhaps he needs to reach that decision by himself. Could you speak to him? He doesn't usually listen to doctors, but perhaps because you've been through it, you can talk him round. Goodbye, Mr. Blight. Take care of yourself. Good evening. Evening, Dr. Reed. Newton is conflicted about his feelings towards you. Would you like to talk about it, Oswald? It makes me sad and angry. It feels like the beautiful thing we have is somehow tainted. It hurts to see him so lost. His love for you is genuine. I'm certain he wasn't lying to me when he expressed his feelings for you. Newton still has to accept it, knowing he'll be seen as a queer, a fairy, less than a man in those simple-minded bigots' eyes. Though he's more of a man than they'll ever be, so fuck them all. Oswald, why did you not go to the Pembroke Hospital to seek medical help? I don't trust doctors. All they care about was their careers. Your fear... I've seen enough butchered... Goodbye, Mr. 